<laughs> Upgrade any time. At Prairie Mobile, your Sastel authorized dealer. Well, yeah, like you're saying, uh, to keep that intensity level is it's uh, it's key going into this game. You know, we don't. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it's a uh, it's a easy game to play because it's not. Every team's really good, and like we did, uh, like happened earlier in the season where we kind of let up on Lethbridge and they beat us. And uh, yeah, we got to go in and and make sure ma uh, man to man that we're better than those guys. Malcolm did mention penalties. Uh, you guys are pretty high right now in the league. Uh, how do you guys maybe kind of keep an eye on that to make sure you're not giving the team a lot of power plays? Well, yeah, um, we got to keep moving our feet. You know, a lot of the penalties that we take are either uh, in the offensive zone or tripping, hooking penalties. And, you know, those are the ones we got to eliminate. The hard penalties where we're getting roughings and stuff like that, those are ones that we can kill off. But uh, it's the hookings and the, the trippings that we really have to eliminate. So sometimes it has a lot to do with maybe trusting the system more where you see you don't need to hold on to a guy when you've got guys back. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, and I think that's one thing that our team has really, really improved on. We've been trusting each other a lot lately, and in our defensive zone, we're getting a lot better. But again, um, taking that extra step instead of holding or hooking a guy, that's that's one key part. Now that you guys are in pretty lofty heights, do you, are you going to see that target getting bigger on your backs and teams come in here and know they've got a game to play? Well, of course, yeah. We have, we know that uh, it's going to be a hard one every night. You know, teams are gunning for us now, and and uh, we just got to bring it, and I think we have been doing that, and, and uh, we're just getting used to it now. Everyone knows the big names on this team, but yourself with Patrick and Carter, you guys have really seem to doing your jobs quite well lately. Yeah, you know what, uh, Klimmer and uh, Chan and those guys, they've been doing their job putting pucks in the net, and uh, it's just our job not to get scored against, and if we throw a plus up or uh, put, we'll put one on the board, then that's just uh, that's just a bonus, I guess. It seems like once you guys get going in the offensive zone, though, it's pretty hard for them to get the puck off. What makes you, the three of you so successful? Together? Yeah, I, I think that um, you know we communicate really well on and off the ice, and that... Um, when we're not on the ice, we talk about uh, how how we're going to cycle down low and how that we don't want to give the puck away, no hole passes and stuff like that, and keep the puck low. And when we get our chances, uh, bear down and hopefully put one in the back of the net. On Friday night, when they started coming back on you, coach threw you guys out there, and then you guys kind of turned the momentum back the other way. What does that mean to you as a player of line, knowing that he has that kind of confidence in you? Yeah, exactly. That confidence and that the coach has in us is is uh, it's key, and that. When we when we get put on the ice, you know, we know we have a job to do, and and uh, we do it. So it's good. Morgan, you've had some big games against Victoria, Victoria. So how do you make sure you guys keep that same intensity coming up against the Montreal? We just gotta prepare the same way. Uh, I think going into the weekend, we knew how big the stakes were and how good those teams were, and I thought we really rose to the occasion. And we're just trying to play like that every game, no matter who we're playing against. And honestly, more so, especially against the teams that are below us. We can't be you know, going down to their level standings-wise and making sure that we're playing the same game every day. It's kind of a stretch run here, the motivation now more so than who you're playing every night, considering in the past maybe you fell into that trap. But now every two points is important no matter who you're playing. Yeah, it's been like that for a while now, I think. But now that we do have that target on our back and we're, we're trying to hold our positioning in the standings, I think that uh, these games are very important and every single one of them matters. So, like I said before, we just got to make sure we're showing up every night and just sticking the way we play. And you know, I think it's been working, so we just got to stick to that. Playoffs just around the corner, I mean, three or four weeks away. I mean, what's the message in the room going to be as you get closer to it? Uh, just practice the right habits every day. I think practice are going to be very important, and like I, like I touched on before, making sure that every single day we're we're sticking to the systems that the coaching staffs provided to us, and I make sure we're not we don't have our own agendas or anything like that. The team's goals have to be first every single day, and I think we've been doing a pretty good job that last month here, and I think we just got to continue that as we head down the stretch here. With the weekend you have, yeah, do you think teams are going to come in here now knowing that they got a game to play when they're taking you guys on? I think so, but that, you know that's pretty good credit, and that's that's a compliment to our team. So if we're getting hard hard games every night, it's only going to make us that much better going into playoffs. So yeah, that's something we might look forward to. But yeah, yeah I think so. Earlier um, on Friday night, coach credited the line of uh, D'Amico, the D'Amico line for kind of turning the tide there. How big has that line been for you guys lately? Yeah, they've been huge. I think when when you can get a line like that, that. Uh, buys into their roles and their identities and knows that their responsibilities are you know, equally as important as putting the puck in the net. It, it's huge to a team, and 
uh, ever since that line's been together, they've been you know, a catalyst almost every single night at some point for us. And you can rely on them out there, and they're, they're chipping in offensively as well. So when you can get that, it's pretty important to a team. When you have sort of that grind line, so to speak, what does that do for you for the Stars offensively? How much room does that open up? Uh, it helps for sure. Uh, like I said before, they're, they're, they've been chipping in offensively as well, so that definitely takes takes a load off some of the, some of the guys that were expected to score before. And with a couple guys out, you need people to step up. And even when... Boston and Huntsy were in the lineup. Those guys are playing pretty well, but but to have those guys go on every night and know that you can rely on them and, and keep those three together it makes it a lot easier. Hey coach, we've seen a situation before: two big emotional wins, and maybe a lesser opponent coming in. Is this a chance for the team to show they've grown? Uh, it certainly is. Uh, you know, we talked about that after the Saskatoon game the other night. That you can't take anything for granted, and you know, teams uh, are playing hard at this time of year, even though the ones that maybe are on the outside looking in. Uh, guys are trying to impress for, for jobs for next year and, and some young guys obviously trying to maybe improve their own draft status heading into the NHL draft. So, uh, you know, we, we have to be on our toes and we got to be prepared to work for 60 minutes tomorrow. Does the immediacy of the situation maybe kind of change the outlook this time around? I, I don't think so. Uh, you know, we're all business right now at this time of year. Uh, our approach shouldn't be any different regardless of who we're playing. Uh, we do have a lead in the in the East Division here right now, but uh, that can evaporate very quickly if we don't take care of our own business here. We're in the driver's seat as far as having the opportunity to finish first, but right now we're taking it as a game-by-game approach, and uh, right now our, our approach is to Lethbridge. No, I don't, actually, at this at this time, I think the guys are pretty focused on day-to-day business. Uh, it's all I've heard the guys talk about today is is getting ready for the game tomorrow. And the guys know what's at stake. I mean, at the end of the day, we've got to take advantage of these home games. And we have to win at home. And if we do that, we put a, a lot of heat on the teams below us to have to win almost out uh, at some point in time. And uh, if we win our home games, then, uh, like I said, we take care of it ourselves. I don't think so. I think everybody, uh, you know, knew we were a hard team to play against when we brought it. Uh, I think sometimes teams maybe didn't know what they were going to get from us each and every night. I think right now maybe uh, we're making believers that we're gonna becoming a 60-minute hockey club that can close out games and, and beat the top teams. I think everybody felt we were capable of that. We're just doing it with more regularity right now. looking at the playoffs and what you need to do to get ready for that? March 16th, not a day before that. Yeah, right now we're looking at, uh, you know, every game, uh, the last 10 games of the season. And uh, once we finish the slate of 10 games, then we'll worry about who we play in the first round, not, and not before. You called them the ground line on Friday night with D'Amico and the line. How have they been so successful? Have you been even able to keep them together as a group with the injuries? Well, you know, something that you just can't break up with what works. And right now that line is just, uh, they're playing phenomenal. They're three guys that really have craved and and, uh, and and have been blessed with an identity that we needed on this hockey club, and they've embraced that. And, uh, you know, uh, not just as individuals, but as a line. They, they know what their job is each and every night. And now it's nice they're getting rewarded with some goals here and there too, but they're they're on the plus side each and every night, and they're shutting down the other team's top one or two lines, and, and they love that stuff. They come in, they're exhausted physically and mentally, but that's something they really, really enjoy, and, and I've said this in the past six weeks, they're the glue of the hockey club right now. They're, the, they're that glue line that's keeping this thing together. How big of a difference has it made down the stretch having that line compared to before when you're pretty top heavy? You know something, uh, this is a line, this is kind of a, a thing that we haven't had here in the three years I've been here. We, we've had some real good line combinations and stuff, but we haven't had a line like these guys where they're just big, they're strong, they're physical. Uh, they wear teams down. They play a real hard style of puck possession. They really make you take the puck off them in the offensive zone, and boy, oh boy, they're physical getting it back in our zone. So that's a real gift to have. Uh, you don't get a lot of these types of lines in junior hockey, I'll tell you that. Uh, you're more apt to see this in pro, and we're going to milk it for all we can.